In second of his name, the seeds are planted for the true great conflict within House Targaryen. I'm Mr. Mac, and let's get into it. For the last three years, Daemon and House Valerion have been fighting a losing war in the Stepstones against the soldiers of the armies of the Triarchy. But the Crabfeeder and his soldiers hide in the caves from Daemon's dragon Caraxes. Back on Mainrand Westeros, Alicent has given birth to a son, Aegon, who most of the lords assume Viserys will make his heir. Alicent is also pregnant with a second child. Rhaenyra fears that Aegon will supplant her, and she's also dealing with unwanted attention from various lords who are seeking her hand in marriage. So Rhaenyra gets fed up and she leaves a hunt, only for Christian Cole, who has become her sworn protector, to follow her, and we see that they have become fairly close. And while Rhaenyra is away with Christian Cole, Lord Strong shows up and convinces Viserys to send support to Daemon. Viserys himself is not feeling so good. His disease has spread to multiple fingers, which is why he is now wearing gloves everywhere. But when Daemon gets the news that backup is coming, he doesn't take it so well. Because Daemon decided to fight with the Valerians not because he likes them, but because he wanted glory and recognition. So the series sending troops to prop him up is the last thing Daemon wants. And this drives him to desperate measures. So Daemon fakes his surrender to the crab feeder troops, and he then attempts to kill the crab feeder in a suicidal run. And then Lenor Valerion on his dragon, and the Valerion troops show up. So Daemon kills the crab feeder in a battle, and it ends up being a decisive victory for the Valerians. So now Daemon has his honor and glory, and he's satisfied. So now the real conflict between Rhaenyra and Aegon will begin to start shaping up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.